style secrets for petites, but honestly, this video is for everybody, no matter what your height, because all of these amazing style tips will help you look taller and slimmer, no matter how tall or short you may be. I personally am petite. I am five foot three and a half. So I use these style tips every single day, like literally every morning I get up, I use almost every single one of these style tips and they make the hugest difference. They are guaranteed to elevate all of your looks and obviously make you look taller and make you look slimmer. So I wanna thank Express for sponsoring this video. Express is one of my favorite places to shop. They have amazing affordable pieces that look way more expensive than they really are. So a lot of these looks are going to include things from Express, but certainly not everything. And as always, if there's anything on the expensive side, I will always be linking a steel version as well, because I believe no matter what your budget, you should be able to shop on my channel. Now, make sure you listen to this entire video because the last item I'm sharing is actually one of the best designer dupes I have come across in a very long time. It is a definite wardrobe essential, a must have, and I'm just so excited to share it with all of you. So without further ado, make sure you hit that little subscribe button. I do publish brand new videos every single week. Okay, tip number one is to choose denim that hits you right around the ankle bone or a little bit lower. Why? Because cropped denim that's like too short, maybe that hits like mid calf or lower is awful. It's hideous. Don't ever wear it. It will make your legs look shorter. But jeans that hit you right around the ankle bone, whether it's a little bit above or a little bit below, is going to be the most flattering for straight leg denim or the modern skinny jean silhouette. The reason is it's going to elongate your legs. As you can see, these jeans that I'm wearing in this example are from Express. I love these jeans. Express Denim makes phenomenal jeans. And the really cool thing about them is that you can order them in different lengths so that you can achieve this style tip easily. You can order short, regular, or long. I'm five foot three and a half. These are the regular version. I did want them a little bit lower than my ankle bone because I think that straight leg denim actually looks better that way. So I ordered the regular, you know, length. Now I can cuff them and get the same effect if I want them to hit above my ankle bone. So I think they look really great both ways. It just really depends on what kind of look you're going for. If you really want to focus on your heels and make a statement that way, I would suggest cuffing them. But if you want a bit more of a classic, more streamlined look, I would say leave them uncuffed. But again, this style tip, easy to follow because Express Denim, you can order in different lengths. But if you have some jeans that you know you just want to um, hem, possibly take them to your tailor because of the raw hem that's so popular these days. It's easy just to take any pair of jeans, have your tailor cut them off right above the ankle bone or right at the ankle bone, leave the raw edge hem, and it's not gonna cost you a lot of money. The first look I wanna talk about are these awesome jeans. I love the wash. They're super high-waisted. Um, the wash is very sort of vintage inspired and they have minimal distressing, a few rips, but not like too many. So I think they're very age appropriate. And again, Express Denim is amazing. It's phenomenal. It fits and looks like designer denim. However, it does not have the price tag of designer denim. And I paired it with this awesome long sleeve black bodysuit from Express. Very simple, very easy. I love the V neckline. Having any V neckline or scoop neckline is another style tip that will help you look taller and slimmer because it's just going to elongate the top portion of your body. And if you add a neck stack like I have here, bonus tips because that's another way to sort of elongate the top portion of your body. And obviously this will make you appear to look taller and slimmer. This bodysuit is soft. It's under $100, so it's a really good price. I love it alone, but it also looks fantastic with like a blazer or a leather jacket draped over it. And then I just went with some Sarah Flint pumps. These are a metallic shade. I love this gorgeous shade because it is a lighter shade. It sort of blends in with my skin tone. And honestly, this neutral metallic color literally goes with anything. And I just love wearing a classic pump. I think it really elevates all of my looks. Okay, tip number two for petite women to look taller 
is to wear high-waisted denim over mid-rise or low-rise denim. So I'm a big fan of high-waisted jeans. If you've been following me for a while or watched my videos, you should know this, and I'm sure that you are too. The reason that high-waisted denim is more flattering is because it elongates the leg because the waistline is actually above the belly button if it's a super high-rise. So these jeans from Express are considered an ultra high rise. I think they have a 12 or a 12 and a half inch rise, which means they hit me above my belly button. You know, that's just gonna create a longer silhouette from the top of your belly button to the bottom of your leg. Obviously, it's gonna make you look taller. If you wear low rise denim, it sort of, you know, shortens your waist. And so it just makes your whole body sort of look out of proportion and makes you look shorter. Here's a picture of me in low rise denim a couple of years ago. This was probably like six years ago. I've literally been blogging for almost 10 years. So it's been quite some time. So as you can see, my legs look significantly longer when I have on these high waisted jeans versus those low rise sort of really tight jegging jeans, which are out of style by the way in 2022. So if you're wondering what some other things are that are definitely out of style in 2022. I will be linking that video down below as well. So you don't have to wear high-waisted jeans to achieve this. You could also opt for a pair of high-waisted pants. Now these pants are awesome. They're from Express, a high-waisted straight leg silhouette. They are a faux leather material, so they're wrinkle-free. You know, they're just very um, durable. They do a great job of hiding any flawed areas that you might have. I really do love this silhouette because it's not like super tight, but it is still very slimming. And because they're high-waisted, they're a great option for petite women. But honestly, no matter what your height, I think a high-waisted jean is just a great option. It also hides any muffin top you might have because it's going to, you know, cover up that area hitting above that area because honestly, the area right above your belly button, which is where these pants hit, is the most slimming part on most women's bodies. So absolutely love these pants. They actually remind me of some designer um, vegan leather pants that I actually own. But instead of being like $400, these pants are very affordable because they're from Express. So I went with a white blazer. Again, I have the V neckline, so that's another way that I've elongated my silhouette here. I topped it with this really soft gray blazer. You guys, I love this gray blazer. It's awesome because it's made of like this really soft, sort of lightweight knit sweatshirt material. Um, it is gray, so it's a great neutral color. You can wear it now in the fall and winter with like darker shades like black, like I have here. But then come spring and summer, you could pair it with an all white ensemble, for example, and just give yourself a fresh and modern look. This blazer, again, I think it's very flattering because it does cut in at the waist. So it is fitted, it has a very sort of, you know, flattering silhouette and obviously, it's also a really great price. You could wear this blazer to the office. You can wear this blazer on a date night or a girl's night out. You could even dress it down on the weekends with like some modern skinny jeans, a simple white tee, and some fabulous sneakers. So I promise you this super comfortable blazer will go a long way in your wardrobe. Okay, tip number three is to pay attention to your sleeve length. So when you're wearing a blazer, your blazer should hit you, or a jacket, whether that's a leather jacket, a denim jacket, whatever it is, if you're wearing a jacket, the, the bottom of the sleeve should hit you between right here on your wrist, so basically the bottom of your wrist, and then this little bone on your thumb. So anywhere in between here is a good length for a blazer. It is where a blazer or jacket should hit you. Now, I'm not talking about jackets that are made with a bracelet length sleeve, meaning they come about right here. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a regular structured jacket that is supposed to fit you the traditional way. If you wear sleeves that are too long, you're gonna look like you're wearing a jacket that's too big. And anytime you wear clothes that are too big are just gonna make you look smaller. They're gonna make you look shorter. They could also make you even look bigger than you really are. So not a good option. I did order the regular size because I actually have long arms. So that's, and I kind of have long legs. 
for a five foot three and a half woman, my arms actually are pretty darn long. So I don't wear petite clothes. I don't ever order the petite jackets or the petite jeans. Whenever I order jackets, I order the regular version. Why? Because I'm, like I said, I have long arms. So think about that when you're ordering your jackets or blazers. How tall are you? Do you have long arms? Do you have short arms? If you have shorter arms and you're a bit on the petite side, I would say go with the petite version. But for me, as you can see, this jacket fits perfectly. I I love this white blazer. It's a beautiful, it has gold buttons and I absolutely love it. It cuts in at the waist just as a structured blazer should be cut. Also, another thing you wanna look at when you order your jackets is it's more important to see how they fit when the jacket is unbuttoned versus when it's buttoned. When you're ordering a blazer, you should be able to button the blazer, but if you're not ever gonna button the blazer, then I would say size down a size and wear it as long as it fits you in the shoulders, then you know, you're know you gonna really pay attention to how it looks when it's unbuttoned, if that's the way you're gonna be wearing it most often. So when I go buy a blazer or a jacket of any sort, I really pay attention to how it looks on me unbuttoned because honestly, I wear all of my jackets unbuttoned. So keep that tip in mind as well. Now underneath this Express white blazer, I did that same white bodysuit I had on earlier from Express, again under $50, so what a steal. Proving its versatility and wearability, like I said, you can wear it underneath almost any jacket. And then I just went with the same Express jeans, again a high-waisted straight leg denim, and then some fabulous metallic heels. Okay, tip number four in order to make yourself look taller is to opt for some flare jeans. So flare jeans are having a huge moment in 2022 and I'll have to say I'm a big fan. Now these flares are by Anine Bing. I absolutely love them. Here's the trick when wearing flare jeans. When I got these jeans in the mail, they were too long. So they puddled on the floor. That's not gonna make me look taller. In fact, that will make me look shorter because I have on jeans that are too big. So instead, I took them to my tailor along with the heels that I was going to be wearing with these jeans and I had her hem them about an eighth of an inch off the floor. That is going to make me look like a taller version of myself. So that is my tip when wearing flares. Flares are absolutely, hands down, the most universally flattering style of denim silhouette on the market. So these jeans by Anine Bing are amazing. I love the sexy slit up the front. Also, they are high rise, but they're not like that super high rise. They're more of like an 11 inch rise instead of a 12 and a half inch rise. So although they are still high waisted and they're still very flattering, they're not like that super high rise. So if you're someone who doesn't want to order the 12 and a half inch rise, these would be a great option. And they are on sale right now. So what a great deal. I just paired them with a simple black express bodysuit. This is one wardrobe basic. I swear by I have it in several colors. I wear their bodysuits underneath all of my jackets. And again, they're under $50. And then this is a gold foil express sort of jacket cardigan. I love this because of the gold foil detailing. And this fabulous jacket is also on sale. Okay, the next tip is that cropped jackets are your best friend. So I love cropped jackets. What is a cropped jacket and why is it your best friend? Well, on petite women, it's going to make your body appear longer because the bottom of the jacket hits around your waistline. So it doesn't have to be super cropped. I would say a good cropped jacket hits anywhere you know, three to four inches above the waistline or three to four inches below the waistline. So that's a good option to keep in mind whenever you're ordering jackets, any shrunken jacket or cropped jacket is always good for petites. So one of the most fabulous cropped jackets that I have ordered recently is this awesome satin bomber jacket by Blank NYC. The price point is amazing. I really, really love this gorgeous olive green shade. You can certainly wear it all year round. And as you can see, because it hits a little bit below my waistline, it really does make me appear taller and slimmer. What I paired it with is a simple black cutout tank, some high-waisted, because yes, I went with my own style tip, um, a gold E. 90s pinch waist jeans. I did roll them at the bottom like I talked about earlier so that they hit me right above my ankle bone. This also allows me to show off these fabulous black pumps. 
So I love this look for a date night or a girl's night out, and I'm literally obsessed with that cropped jacket by Blink NYC. Okay, the next tip when dressing if you're petite is to think about your outfit in thirds. This is a little confusing, but I'm gonna try my best to explain it. Two thirds of your outfit should be streamlined and slim fitting, and the other third of your outfit should be the oversized or the statement piece. Okay, so think of that. Okay, I wanted to pop on here because actually I styled this awesome tan cardigan with something different than I thought I was going to. So this is what I'm wearing to explain the two thirds rule slash balance rule. So you want everything to be in thirds. So this would be the part of the outfit that's the statement piece, this long awesome cardigan from Express. It is so soft, it's a great neutral color, it's a great price point, it's under $100. You can wear it like lounging on the weekends with sweats while you're watching Netflix. But then you can also dress it up and wear it on a date night or a girl's night out like I have here. So to go along with the one third rule, two thirds of my outfit is form fitting. So this awesome black bodysuit that is actually off the shoulder. You guys look how sexy this neckline is. Like I'm obsessed. I love this bodysuit. And um, I tucked it into these amazing straight leg high-waisted jeans. Now this time I left them uncuffed because I think this also has an elongating effect. So this would be an example of the jeans hitting below the ankle bone. So I think it's a personal preference. If you roll them and cuff them, I think that's still very elongating, but if you leave them uncuffed, and wear them with a pointy toe heel, you will also do a great job of elongating your legs. And then I'm carrying this amazing YSL hobo bag. This is one of my latest handbag purchases of 2022. And I'm actually about to do a video on the best designer bags of 2022. And this one would definitely be in there. I love the croc emboss leather. It's a great size too, perfect for day or night. And carrying a smaller handbag is also another great tip to help petite women look a bit taller and slimmer than they really are because obviously Obviously, if you carry like this ginormous handbag, that's just going to make you look even smaller. So I always carry small-ish handbags. Okay, the next tip is to try a bodysuit. So bodysuits will make you look taller because they basically are very streamlined, especially if you choose a V-neck, but the main reason is the bunchiness in the waist area is not there if you have on a bodysuit. As you can see, this is a beautiful blue bodysuit. I love this bodysuit. It is so soft. It has a very sexy neckline, again, dipping down in the front, sort of elongating the top portion of my body. But as you can see, these jeans with this bodysuit look fabulous. But when I did a V-neck sweater with the jeans and I tried to tuck the sweater in, my waist looks bigger. I look a bit frumpy. I don't look as tall. Why? because it's all bunched around near my waistline. So that is why I'm literally obsessed with bodysuits. I wear them all the time. Honestly, it's my favorite thing to wear underneath a jacket and I love wearing bodysuits alone. So this is a fabulous bodysuit. I love this gorgeous baby blue color. So perfect for spring and summer, but you can certainly wear it now as well. It's a great price too, coming in under $100. Okay, tip number eight in order to look taller is to choose jumpsuits. So jumpsuits sort of give a monochromatic look because you know, obviously it's a one and done piece. It's the same color on the top as it is on the bottom. So it's just going to elongate your entire frame. So when in doubt, choose a jumpsuit. I love wearing jumpsuits. I think they're chic. I think they're polished. And they're also just a great alternative if you're sort of tired of wearing dresses and you want to change it up a little bit. I always love wearing jumpsuits. So this one is by Veronica Beard. It's a really cool and edgy faded black denim color. So it's wrinkle free. I love the tie waist because it does a great job of showing off my waistline. Also, I left the top few buttons unbuttoned and added a neck stack, which is another way I elongated my frame in this jumpsuit. Now, the best thing about this fabulous Veronica Beer jumpsuit is that it is on major sale right now. And as always, everything that I'm talking about will be linked down below in my description box. Okay, tip number nine, monochromatic looks are always a good idea. I touched on this a second ago, but the reason is when you wear one color from head to toe, you just create a longer silhouette because your outfit is not broken up 
Your body is not broken up. It's just sort of one straight long streamline from head to toe, and it is guaranteed to make you look taller and slimmer. It doesn't have to be the same exact color. It can be the same color of different shades of that color, which brings me to this fabulous look from Express. This is an amazing dark gray slip dress. You guys, I love slip dresses. They're honestly a wardrobe staple that, that I think every woman needs. You could wear this to a cocktail party. You could wear it on a date night or a girls night out. You could even wear it on the weekends topped with like an easy cropped sweatshirt and some fun sneakers. But this slip dress, it's a beautiful fit. The material's luxurious and I really loved this dark gray shade. I topped it with this awesome black leather jacket also from Express, so it's a great price point. Leather jackets are my best friend. This is a cropped leather jacket in a sense because it does hit you around the waistline. So another jacket fabulous for petite women. But honestly, no matter what your height, you could pull off this amazing black leather jacket. Then let's talk about these fabulous heels for a moment. These are a pointy toe heel. They have an ankle strap on them, but they're by Mark Fisher and they're a great dupe of the Giovanni Rossi heels. So I always love when I find a great dupe for you guys. These heels are amazing. They're comfortable because the heel height's only three inches. And because they have a pointy toe, they do a great job of sort of elongating my frame, making me look taller and slimmer. Okay, the last tip and the final tip is that nude heels or metallic heels are always a great idea. Why? Because they blend in with your skin tone and anytime you have a heel on or a shoe on that's sort of the same shade as your skin tone, you know, it's just going to have a great elongating effect of your legs. It's always gonna make your legs look taller and slimmer. So if I'm really on purpose wanting to look taller and slimmer, I will choose a nude or metallic heel. Also, I will choose a pointy toe heel. Pointy toe heels are by far more flattering than like that round toe. So the last look I wanna talk about includes my favorite Sarah Flint pointy toe shoes. These are pumps. These are a lighter shade. As you can see, they're metallic. They have the pointy toe. And because they're this beautiful metallic shade, they do a great job of blending in with my skin tone, making my legs look taller, making my legs look longer, and making me just appear less petite than I really am. So this outfit is amazing. I love this gorgeous blue dress. You guys, how beautiful is this cobalt blue dress from Express? It's such a great price. It's under $100. It's made of knit material, so it's super soft and wrinkle free. And then this is what we've all been waiting for. This is the Balmain dupe blazer. This is from Express. It has beautiful gold buttons just like the Balmain blazer does. It's obviously a beautiful white shade. It's cut in at the waist just as a well-structured blazer should be cut in. The sleeves are a perfect length, although I do love pushing up my sleeves when I wear blazers. But if I were to wear it to the office or something like that, I probably wouldn't do that. So love this blazer. Again, it's a great dupe of the Balmain blazer. But instead of being like $2,000, this fabulous blazer from Express that I had on earlier with denim, proving its versatility is such a great price point. So those were the 10 tips on how to look taller and slimmer. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know what your favorite tip was because I always love hearing from you guys. I also I also want to thank Express for sponsoring this video. And for more style information, you can head over to SoHeather.com and on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. I hope you guys have a fabulous day and until next time, I will see you soon. Bye-bye.